and today in this video we'll be discussing the module 5 of DIP and in this uh, module we have 4 uh, super important questions which are repeated so make sure you hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and let's get started you can download this document from the link given in the description box so uh, the, uh, what are the important points in the 4 uh, questions is explain arithmetic logic uh, arithmetic coding and run length coding ok so what is run length coding you have to explain that uh, 5 or 4 points regarding that and then you have to write the formula and what are these terms h0 and h1 uh, l0 and l1 that you have to write here okay after that you have to come to the arithmetic loading here you have to write the three step process which is uh, the procedure for that and uh, there is an example also given you can download the TIE notes in that it is there you can go through it okay moving on to the image compression model with the diagram here five step process they divide into two parts encoder and decoder uh, steps so you have to just write what are these uh, things doing so that information is given here you can go through it and uh, write about those things okay like mapper quantizer and encoder and so on okay moving on we have the coding redundancy and interpixel redundancy two questions are there five five mark questions so for coding uh, redundancy what you have to write is each piece of information is converted to a code that is called coding redundancy and image redundancy each uh, sequence of uh, bits is converted to an image that is called as image redundancy so these are the different uh, levels of the images and I bought that only after right here and this is on pictog uh, pictographic representation of how it looks like intensity histogram this also have to make then we have the Huffman coding here you need to know how to solve this question so you can watch some other video in that uh, it might be explained Explained. but uh, regarding the theory parts it's written here these are the three step process what you have to do and the same question is also given here you can go through it for your reference if you already know how it works and make sure you know this question very well because most probably they ask the same question they don't change these uh, numerical values in most of the cases so make sure you are prepared very well that's all for DIP make sure you hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and thank you so much for watching I'll see you in the next one